Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. And as a business owner and a leader, I am often required to make really tough decisions. And so today I wanna to talk to you about, about my process of how to make decisions in tough moments and challenging situations. Cause if you're man, woman, female, boy, girl, uh, to trying to get healthy mentally, physically, and, 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 and spiritually, the struggle is always real. And balancing those long hours at work and relationships and, and disappointments and setbacks, there's always a changing set of complex challenges that we all have to go through and we all have to face when we make tough decisions. But most people, what they do is they search their whole life to find a place of peace and rest with no results. And what's challenging about that is when you face things on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, there's a lot of challenges that stand out and that is constantly having to make decisions. Uh, and again, the pressure of having to make the right decision at the right time can be overwhelming at times, makes you wanna just throw your hands up and just walk away and pull your hair out. So how do we make sure that we make the right decisions for our lives? So I wanna to turn to the scriptures and Psalm 4, 8 says, I will lie down both in peace and in sleep. Oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. Man, that is such an incredible passage. And all throughout the Bible, God has promised us that he's gonna be our provider. He's gonna be our protector. He's gonna defend us. He's gonna be our strength. He's gonna be our shelter. And he's gonna be our strong tower. And even when the most challenging times of life come against us and don't work out like we wanted them to, we have a dwelling place in him. We have safety and we have peace. And that lets us live in confidence and nothing can take that away and nothing can steal and rob our joy when we stay in peace. But what does that actually mean, living in peace and staying in peace? Well, one definition of the word dwell, when we dwell in peace, it means to keep our focus forward on something that's very specific. And the more you keep your focus directed towards God, the more confidence you'll have in his ability and his power to give you peace and most importantly, to give you rest. And when your heart and your mind both are focused on God's word, you are dwelling in him. That's right, you're dwelling in him. So how do we do this? First thing is you gotta speak words of life to yourself and to others every day and give that first choice to God and let him help you make the decision. Next, you gotta lift up your voice and give God thanks for all that he's doing in your life. And that means you gotta spend time meditating on God's words. You gotta be in prayer and you gotta have an attitude of gratitude. And if you'll do this with all your decisions in your life, big or small, you will see his goodness come to pass. You will feel his protection and you'll live in peace and you will dwell in safety. So as you're thinking about the decisions that you have to make on a day-to-day -day basis, and then you're thinking about the decisions that are big in your life, and even the small decisions, always put God first, stay in faith, keep believing, and give God the first chance to help you make that decision. And if you'll do that, I believe and declare that tough decisions will become easier and easier as you put your faith and trust in God to be all that you were created to be. So God bless you guys. I'll see you on the next video.